Uh, first, a Kirbyville woman who caused a crash that killed a 20-year-old pregnant woman and her 15-year-old sister is likely to face at least manslaughter charges. That's our top story. The crash killed Connolly Burns, her unborn child, and her sister Courtney, who, were who was driving. Their mother was also riding in the car, and she was critically hurt. This all happened last night near the intersection of Highway 69 and 96. The Lumberton police chief says the driver responsible for the crash was clocked at 150 miles an hour by state troopers in Jasper. When the driver reached Lumberton around 8 Monday night, she was driving around 120 miles an hour. Fox 4's Leslie Rangel spoke with a family friend. She shares her memories and why this was supposed to be a joyous time in their lives. Brought a smile with her every single day. Anna Miller works in the Lumberton School District. She was Connolly Burns' high school counselor. Miller and Burns' mother, Dawn Sterling, are colleagues. Monday, Sterling devoted several hours of the day to her daughter. Her mom actually was... Um, took off half a day and she they were moving into her her apartment and it was a very happy day for them. Miller was planning to help mother and daughter share another important moment. Full of joy and could not wait for that day to get here. Um, I actually had a baby shower planned um, coming up um, in just a few days. The new apartment was supposed to be ready for the baby. She was having a boy. He was due in March. And uh, they were so excited for her and um, they had worked so hard yesterday and had gone to get ice cream and we're on their way home. A drive home that left two sisters and an unborn child dead. You know, the life that she had ahead of her and how that was cut short so, you know, um, senselessly. And so you think about that and just, um, it's just, you know, breaks your heart. A mother-to-be, her sister, always standing out in a crowd. Always a breath of fresh air to be around, very bubbly, both of the uh, both the girls. Memories friends cling on to after a family drive changed everything. It just reminds you about how precious life is and um, what can happen in an instant. We're told the mother is now in stable condition at Christus Hospital St. Elizabeth. The driver accused of causing the crash is undergoing treatment for non-life-threatening injuries. Tests are being done to determine if she was under the influence.